Hello everyone, my name is Abdul Rahman and welcome back to a new brand tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be talking about the subject of motion graphics design, not music this time. So, my all-time favorite software is Adobe After Effects. I use it all the time to create like stunning visuals, uh, whether it's a visual effects or just a still image. So, in this tutorial, I will talk about the process of matte painting. I will not show you a, a complete walkthrough. I'm just going to give you some tips and tricks of how to achieve a proper and a, a realistic uh, digital painting. So, a lot of you guys may prefer Photoshop uh, over uh, After Effects because, you know, Photoshop have more flexible tools which will allow you to achieve uh, results better than After Effects. But for me, uh, I, I still use After Effects. I find that it helps me to achieve my goals and that's, uh, that's good enough for me. So one of the paintings that I, that I, that I was working on and still, still am is this. This is a scene from uh, Aladdin. From Disney's Aladdin. In this painting, you know, I want to give this as a gift for my nephew. So uh, I wanted to dress, you know, like Aladdin, and I want him to stand here on front of the cave along with magic carpet. So magic carpet's still inside, so it doesn't make any sense. But this is what the kids want. He prefer ca carpet over Abu. So I will place him here along with carpet, and and he's about to enter the cave of wonders so in this picture everything here is done digitally inside after effects without the help of any third-party plugins or software so what's the idea here we want first you want to start with the base image the landscape because this will determine the lighting the lighting that you will use the elements that you will put and what kind of sky you want so you always start with the base this is you know this is my lesson for you and I learned it the hard way so start with the base and on my one of my all-time favorite websites is pixels you know there is a lot of free stock photos you can use you know copyright free photos that is the most important thing so let's search for landscape for example and you will have a variety of landscapes you can use as a base image. You can start from here, or maybe you can start from this lake, or just select whatever image you want, whatever image that's you know that fits your vision, and use it as the base image. And then look for the lightning. So, if this is my base image, what kind of sky I want, right? So do I want it to be like uh, in, a, in a night mode or a sunset mode or a sunrise mode, you know, this is up to you. So once you have your base image, you should look for the sky you want because most of the time you will use your own custom sky, not the sky that comes with this image. You will use your own sky. So what kind of sky do you want? Do you want it cloudy? Do you want it crystal clear? Do you want it, you know, sunny? Do you want it uh, have a lot of stars? So this is exactly what my what I what I did. This is my my procedure. I found the landscape I want. First, I have my vision, which is basically an open desert and uh, the cave of wonders here, and some elements like the like the actors and some characters. So this is my base image, the desert. So what next? I do I want this desert to be like in a night mode or you know in a morning mode. So I want this desert to be in night. So I look for a sky to match you know the lighting of the desert. So this is the most appropriate sky I could find. And what else do I need to you know to represent uh, the scene more? I need a moon. So I placed a moon over here. And notice that I placed the moon here, so so that so that it can you know deceive the the viewer that the lights on the deserts and 
the, the front face of, uh, face of the cave is coming from this moon. So it doesn't make sense to put the moon here. It's better to be here. It looks even better. So I have my base image. I have my sky. Next, I want to discuss the, the lightning, all right? If you want to select your elements, for example, any elements you want, you have to make sure that these elements follow the same proper lighting of the base uh, image, right? So you don't want to select uh, an element that you know doesn't quite fit with the original lighting of the base image. No, you want it fit, all right? So if the, for example, if the lights are hitting from here, you want your element to have a light hitting from this side as well all right so this is the this is the general idea because if you don't do do that it will not look realistic enough or it will look like it's random and it's and the images are not fit together so lighting is extremely important and one of the hardest steps when doing a matte painting Beside lighting, you need to know about the elements that you want to use uh, in your scene. What elements do you want? How many? So the idea, it's not about having like millions of uh, elements. No, you know, it's, it only depends on your artistic eye or artistic vision. It, you know, it's different from each person. So you don't have to fit thousands of elements into a single image just to make your image, you know, look wonderful. No, that's that's strong, you know. Sometimes the fewer the better for my for my case. I'm only what elements I'm using only the cave the carpet and possibly you know uh, No, I, I am the actor as well. I will put him here and that's it I, th I don't think I will need any more elements to make my image, you know pop or, or, or look great It all depends on your vision and what do you want? Don't let others tell you what do you want to do? Okay and so for the elements, originally this photo was, you know, it wasn't in a night mode. It was, you know, it has lights in it. it the, the desert was orange. It was like a, in a, in a sun, sunrise mode. So how to fix this problem? If you want to fix this, if you want to transform the mood, the atmosphere, the first thing I want to do when I fit all my elements together, it is to desaturate everything, all right? This is, you know, this is, a, this is a very important point. You need to desaturate everything because let's say that I put the cave here and I put the carpet here and I put, and I know the, the base image, the deserts, the sky, and I left everything as it is without desaturating it. None of, none of this will fit together. It will all seem random. It will all seem that they don't belong to the same place. So if you want your elements, you know, to, to make them glue to each other, to make them seem that they are all in the same scene, desaturate everything and make sure. Uh, and once you des desaturate everything, start from there. All right. Make sure that all the elements in the in the landscape match each other in terms of in terms of colors so besides lightning we need to make sure the colors colors are extremely extremely important and you don't know how much it's you know impacts the overall feel and quality of the image so once you desaturate everything you need to work on your colors so, uh, for example, the the cave originally when I found it was it is it, just a it's another three D model it's just a toy, uh, I I was able to grab it from the internet somewhere. Originally, it has a purple color, like a very bright purple color. So, to fix this, I desaturated. I you know I killed some of the lights because it was too much exposed, and then. I you know I apply I use apply a curve effect and I played with a contrast you know start killing some unwanted colors like for example we have purple so we, it means that we need to decrease the red a little bit so I started decreasing the red and uh, and since this is in night mode I started to increase the blue a little bit 
uh, played with the green a little bit until I have, you know, the proper color that I want. In the end, like I said, it all depends on your eyes. You have to train your eyes. And after I done some curve here and there, I start I start adding some a, a, a tint effect with the known with with a little navy color to give it that overall night look to the cave. And the same process was done to everything, to the to the desert, to the carpet, you know, to the skies. Everything was done accordingly in the same process. So that's the general idea. You know, you have to you have to focus on this these tips and tricks because they are very important and it helps me a lot. Once you start, you know, once you start right, you will finish right. You will start right, you will continue right and you will finish right hopefully. So start with a base image, look for the skies, see the the lightning in the in the base image. All right, look for elements that match that matches the lighting in the base image. All right, start working on those elements, desaturate everything and you know, start working on the colors, on the and then the lighting, the shadows if you want to add some shadows. And uh, yeah, that's that's the general idea. I don't want to make this video too long. I just want to give you like quick tips and tricks that help me in this process, you know. You know, uh, when I started doing matte painting, it was the hardest thing because, you know, my my eyes are, not, are weren't trained enough to detect some faults, some uh, some things that I that so there are some things I didn't notice in the image. So it's extremely important, you know. Don't feel disappointed. You have to train yourself every time. You have to work. You will fail once. You will fail twice. But you will succeed in the end. That's my general rule. So just don't give up and, you know, keep going. That's very important. And um, I don't think I have anything left to say except that uh, two important things that will make your image, you know, blend perfectly together. The first thing is the atmosphere. What kind of atmosphere you want your image to present. So in my image, I wanted to have, you know, like a sandstorm. That's why I gave it those, you know, particles like with fast sand particles because, you know, I want I want to give the viewer the feeling that there's a new, there's a there's a little bit of sand sandstorm going on on the image or like the cave is just has been emerged from the ground. And the second thing uh, that you want to add is grain. Honestly, you don't know how much grain really impacts uh, the image. It really makes a huge difference because grain really helps bring everything together. Uh, the problem I had with this image was, you know, the desert was smooth and, and the cave had a lot of details. It wasn't smooth enough. It was rough. Um, and the same goes to the lighting. The lighting was smooth. So, the image felt odd at first, but when I add the, the grain effect, everything blended and fits perfectly as you see. So, that's all I have to say. Just make sure to use this website. I use it all the time. It has, you know, tons of images, which are great. You can use them as your starting image. You can even st to get, start to get ideas from this image and what do you want. So this is really, really helpful. And uh, yeah, that's all I have for now. And uh, stay tuned for the next tutorial. Bye.